Using the rotary attachment with the PL1220 is really easy. Uh, the first thing you need to do is, is lower that bed almost all the way down to the bottom. And we'll go ahead and lower that bed down quite a bit and leave enough room so that we can place the rotary attachment inside the machine. And you can just put the cords off to the side for the moment, kind of like that. And then place your material on top of that rotary attachment and you may have to lengthen it a little bit or you know sort of sort of put it in position and then use the knob there on that little scissor lift to kind of level out your piece and then we'll toggle the laser nozzle to the center of the material and in this case I'm just sort of moving it to the very center and we'll go ahead and press the ZU button again and we'll choose the auto focus function which is down there at the bottom and go ahead and press enter and the machine bed will rise up and it'll make contact with that auto focus sensor and then it'll lower down just a little bit and we should be just about ready to go you can see a perfect position there so we'll go ahead and place the origin right there at the center and in this case we'll go ahead and, and hit the frame and when we hit the frame button this will show us sort of an outline of where that file is going to print and this is just some stock material for testing and you can see where when we hit the frame it goes around and it frames the area where that file should print engrave cut whatever so now what we want to do is detach the y-axis machine connection and connect the rotary attachment so I'll get inside the machine there and just pull out the little connector and then we will plug in the rotary attachment to that same connection and then we'll secure it just tighten it down really good and we should be good to go all right so at this point the machine the laser head will now only be able to move back and forth or left to right and the rotary attachment will turn the material so on this material you can see I did a test and I came out with an elongation or an a reversed file which we'll learn how to correct a little bit later on in this in this video but you can see where the problem is it's it's really long and stretched out and it's also printing in reverse or backwards so when adjusted the file should look like this perfect logo and we're good to go so first thing let's take the speed and it's always a good good idea when working with the rotary attachment uh, to manually set this to about 50 millimeters you know per per uh, second so we'll go ahead and just sort of use the left right and up and down arrow keys and set that manual speed to 50 millimeters per second and there we go so we'll go ahead and once we set it to 50 we can go ahead and press the enter button there you go and we should be good to go so you should see the new value of 50 millimeters as a speed setting um, in the manual machine settings area on the menu there so keep an eye on that next what we want to do is before making any changes to our machine setting it's it's a good idea to create a master file of the overall machine settings so we'll plug the computer into a USB port on the side there and go ahead and open up our DWorks application and we'll open that up and then we'll get into the application here and the first thing we want to do is first go to file and go down to vendor settings and we want to enter the parameter password of RD8888 and that'll open up our vendor tools and we'll press the read option and that'll read our current vendor settings next we'll press the save option and go ahead and title that maybe vendor or vendor settings or in this case we're choosing vendor 2 and press ok and then go ahead and hit exit 
And next, we'll save our user settings. And if you go up to the top there in the tabs, you'll go ahead and che check the user settings right there. And in this case, other, we're going to enable uh, rotation and, and set a diameter. But for the moment, we'll just read that option. And that will let us save that file. And we'll save it as user2. And that saves all of the parameters for the user settings. So we'll go ahead and hit save and get out of there. And now we have a master file for vendor and user settings that we can reload when going back to using the machine to cut flat materials. Now at this point, uh, we need to enable rotating by just go ahead and clicking there and choosing yes. And then you'll enter a size for the material that you're the diameter for your material that you're going to etch, cut, engrave, or whatever. In our case, we'll, we'll, we'll choose 25 millimeters. And then we need to press the right button in order to have the parameters be remembered by the machine. So now, let's make an adjustment that will correct for the backward or reverse engraving cutting option. And as you can see here, it should look like this. One of the main places to look at is your configuration system settings and make sure that you have the axis X mirror unchecked and that will reverse you know, your X axis and, and now you can save your file. So you can see we're printing up the Laguna logo and we have all of our chosen parameters set, our max power, speed, cut, engrave, etc. And we'll go ahead and save that to U file. We'll give it a name and save it to our USB disk, or we can save it to the desktop for Wi-Fi output. So we'll go ahead and hit save and hit OK. Now, when you're ready to go back to um, working with flat materials, you can manually reset the rotating option to no. And once set to no, the diameter value becomes null, and it doesn't really matter anymore. But just make sure you press the right button to save the changes once it's switched back. Another option is to reload the user settings file we recreated earlier, and we'll go ahead and choose that user2 file, and we'll go ahead and click on the right button to set the settings back to the machine. And then we can go to File and go to our Vendor Settings. And in this case, we'll check the Y option on the Y axis here. And that will help refresh the parameters that were altered by our use of the rotary attachment and the user settings. So we'll go ahead and click on Y, and that'll change those parameters. We'll go ahead and read those parameters by clicking on the Read button and that'll read those settings back to the machine. And then we'll go ahead and click on the open button and open up our vendor two settings that we created earlier and we'll re-import those. And then just make sure after you import those to write those with the right button. And now we're good to go. Um, you also want to remember to go to the configuration system settings and either check or uncheck your Axis X mirror. And as well, if you're experiencing reversed image engraving or cutting, you can always do a test with this option checked or unchecked. Um, sometimes it makes a difference. So now we're reset and ready to cut flat materials.